Well, Chris and I just got home from Jamaica. We love Jamaica and we've been maybe four or five times in the past few years. It is my favorite place to just go chill on the beach, get a tan, swim in the ocean, and do nothing that requires responsibility, which is the opposite of my life all the time. Especially after 2020, we needed that vacation. But this year, my trip looked a little bit different. I went to Jamaica in the middle of a hurricane. Hurricane Ada, to be exact. For seven days, it did nothing but rain. No lie, it rained the whole time. Here's what it looked like. I filmed a little video for you. Come to Jamaica, they said. The weather will be beautiful, they said. Um, hashtag 2020, right? And then to add insult to injury, this is what it looked like on our last morning in Jamaica. Well, here we are in Jamaica on our very last day, and guess what? It's absolutely gorgeous outside. How is this possible? How is this fair at all? Yeah, completely and totally unfair. The hurricane even followed us back to South Carolina and made our next few days at home another bout of hot, humid rain. Just the kind of weather that you want in November. Sarcasm aside, to be totally honest, I was just tired of being wet. I was grumpy and I was ticked off. On the second day of rain at home, I was driving my kids to school. I looked out of the minivan window and there was this incredible, huge rainbow. It was so big and so vivid. Rainbows always remind me of Noah. And after my weeks in the hurricane, I started thinking about his story. Can you even imagine what it must have been like for him when he was stuck inside of that boat while it rained for 40 days straight? Noah knew that God was faithful because God gave him a heads up about the flood. And then he gave him very detailed instructions on how to build the boat. But the one thing that Noah didn't get from God was timeline. Every day, Noah had to wait to see if it was gonna stop raining. And even after the rain went away, the earth was still flooded for another 150 days with no land in sight. And as I look out my window today, the rain has stopped. The ground is still soaking wet, but the sun is shining. God has finally calmed the storm. And when I ponder the story of Noah and his family, I'm reminded that God is faithful despite what we see in the natural. We are called to trust even when we can't see the end result. God doesn't always give us a timeline for the desires of our heart, but he will often give us a roadmap and a direction. We are just called to take one step at a time and he will be faithful to see us through to completion because he's a good father and he cares deeply about his kids. Some of you need that reminder today. You need to stop shaking your fist at God for the hurricane in your life. Stop complaining. Stop looking at the circumstances and feeling discouraged. Remember who holds your life together. He may not have laid out a numerical timeline for you to let you know when the storm of your life is going to end, but he is working and moving on your behalf, even when what you see in the natural doesn't match the vision. If you've been grumbling, you need to repent and believe. I know that I had to. Because of Christ's righteousness, you have found favor with God. He loves you, and he is not going to let the storms of your life last beyond the strength of your endurance. The rain will end, the ground will dry up, and the sun will shine again. Be encouraged today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.